Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Web Design Basics. In this episode, we're going to learn how to embed uh, images in our web page, so you can have images show up along with your text and links. So, to start, let's grab an image. The, this is, uh, you know, the images for my channel. So I'm going to grab the avatar, and I'm going to name it with a lowercase a because I like lowercase letters. So this image right here, it's a 500 by 500 PNG, and that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and embed it right under this link. So the way that you want to embed an image is by using the IMG tag. That's what you use to embed an image. Now there's very, one very important, and as you can see right here, one required um, attribute which is src and right in here you can specify either just like we said with the link you could do index.html which refers to this index or you could do um, a URL so if this image were hosted on some other web page and I wanted to embed it I could just type in the full URL that leads to that image and even though it's not hosted here it would still work and we'll go ahead and close off this image tag unless it wants yes okay so what I did there is instead of doing the full image and then ending it um, you don't want to do that because nothing goes in between the image like you're not gonna put anything in there so we can just remove that tag and end it right there so instead of you know putting the closing as well we can just do that and let's see what this looks like this should have the image so there you go um, it says how are you today uh, and then it has the image so really quickly let's fix this problem right here where the recursion is on the same line so it gets bumped all the way down what we can do is if you use the BR tag like that, that's like a line break. So if I reload, you'll see that it works now. If you do BR and you can just end it inside of itself with that little slash, this will create, and I should probably put a comment in, um, this is a line break. Uh, how do you end this? Like that. Okay, so that means that it's a line break, so it'll make a new line. And now the image is there. But that image is really, really big. Maybe we don't want it to be so big. As I said, the image is 500 by 500. So if we want to change this, we can use width and height. Now, by default, these are both going to be 500 because that's the actual size of the image. But let's go ahead and make it 250 uh, by 250. And it's giving me something in yellow. yellow. Oh, we're not going to worry. It just says the original image is... 500 by 500. But if I do that, you'll see that it resized the image and now it's half as large because I specified the width and the height. And if we want, as long as we keep it propor proportional, it'll look fine. So 100 by 100 is now a lot smaller, um, but it still works. So maybe that's a bit too small. You can make it 200 by 200. And as you can see, it still maintains that square. Now, if I made this 200 by 400, it would be stretched um, vertically, and you obviously don't want that, most likely, because it doesn't look right. And sit likewise, if I made the width too big, it would be stretched that way. So you want to make sure that you maintain, uh, if you're going to adjust the um, width and height yourself, you should maintain the ratio. This is a one-to-one -one ratio because it's a square. If you have a rectangle with a one-to-two ratio, you would want to maintain that or else it'll look weird. But you can experiment with it or just change the original image so that it's the right size for you, whatever you want to do. So that is all for this video. We uh, embedded an image in our web page. Uh, and the image is right here, right where the index.html is. Um, so if we were hosting this on a web server, we would be hosting this avatar.png. If I wanted to grab it from maybe my GitHub page, I could copy the 
exact URL to where GitHub is hosting the image and embed it from there instead of storing the file myself. And one last thing, if you're crazy about organization, and I am, you can create different folders. Like, let's say we have an IMG folder, and I'll move avatar over. And you'll see that this just got adjusted to say IMG slash avatar.png, because now it's in the IMG folder. So if I just wrote avatar.png, that wouldn't work because there's no avatar.png. It's in the images folder. And when I specify it, uh, it gave me like that pop-up for a second but maybe not anymore. And I reload it and it still works. Now just a quick note, if I, if I went to the IMG folder, well not that, um, and then avatar.png, you'll see that it loads in the image itself without um, you know any of that. So just like when I go here, this loads in the index.html file. So you can load any file that is within this file structure. It's sort of like with a file you know, on your computer. You have different folders, and you type in the path to look at it the same way it works on a website. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, website and other videos. Bye for now.